Hey folks, this is Robert and you're watching Contentment Channel. So I know there are about a million of these videos out there on YouTube. So around here we have uh, on Survivors, um, Carrie and Raven, and they've been in this house a couple of times. The first time we carried one in in the electrical box. The second time when we got here, there were a couple in here from the door being broken open with the break in and the robbery. So anyway, <clears throat> but I was able to catch the one here in the house, and we've caught four. We've trapped four outside. Either way you look at it, if you're an animal lover, killing a rodent is maybe not your cup of tea, but I'd rather not run the risk of getting hunt-a-virus. Okay? You can't always live in harmony with nature 100%. You try, but I mean, you know, when they chew the wiring and burn your house down or destroy your vehicle. Well, and two, also, you know, get into your garden and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we are just going to be reasonable human beings and try to get them as best we can. Sorry, PETA folks. So right <laughs> now, I've got, we're making use of the things we have here. We already had buckets. We had a couple of hangers, and I'm straightening them, this hanger out. It'll be enough for two traps. You drill holes in the bucket, get a Coke can, drill holes through the Coke can, run this through the Coke can, through the bucket, get a ramp, Put a little nail in it so it can't knock the nail off. They walk up the ramp, jump onto the Coke can, spin around into the bucket. We'll see how this works. And what's in the bucket? Um, you have to put water in it. If you don't put water in it, then they'll jump out. So sadly, the little critters swim around until they no longer can swim and thus die. So pick your poison. Ha ha ha. You smash their brains in. You poison them and they explode or they drown. I've never heard of one exploding well, from Well, you know, they crawl away to find water and all that. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, like I said, pick your poison. Which way would you rather dispose of your rodent population? I think if I were a rodent, I would prefer the quick method with the spring mousetrap. Just snap and have it over with. Yeah, but it was hard to get one off. It was kind of stuck on there. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably too much information. Plus, you got to rebait them, and they get all... Outside, they get sandy and stuff like that, and so we're the gonna bait get sandy. Yeah, the bait gets yeah. sandy because we're using peanut butter. So we're gonna give this a try and see how it goes. Um, you know, I envision waking up and there are like fifty of these stinking little deer mice out in there, but you know, probably it. not that many. But there are quite a few of them around here, that's for sure, because yeah. we can see them. They come out at night. And their little tracks are all around the house, coming and going. And then they go to my car. I don't know why they like my car so much, but they do. They leave each chip's truck alone. But my vehicle, I don't know. I'm going to have to dig in there and get into the um, air gasket thing and see if I can find them in there because I'm pretty sure they're in there. I can't see where I started. Yes. Each chip is fixing the soda can. I'm watching you. you like somebody's watching me. And it's your neighbor because they've been taught to see something, say something. Oh. Yes, I'd like to report something living off grid. I just think that's wrong. I'd like to report. My neighbor was outside in their yard checking their mail. Yes, I'd like to report that my neighbor was in their own yard, minding their own business, hurting no one, and alone, wearing a mask. Yes, and I would also like to turn in Anne Frank and Harriet Tubman. Anybody know any real stories of people who've been ratted on? That's my question. Let's what do you see. think? So you think that if a mousey jumps on that, it'll fall off into the thing? I think so. <clears throat> I don't remember how Boss of the Swamp made his. Did he make his like this? His first ones were like this, and he got a little fancier and made some other ones. Folks, if you haven't seen Boss of the Swamp, I encourage you to go watch that channel. He is 
the real deal. He is the real deal. He's been doing it for a long time. Most, uh, I think all of us, just about all of his adult life, his whole dream from the time he was a kid was to live in a, uh, a cabin in the woods. And that's all he's ever done. Whether it be on family property or property he's purchased, he's owned a couple places, one in New Hampshire, one in New York. I think he still owns them both of just selling one. But uh, yeah, he's made these traps before and he's, he'll be the one to tell you too. Listen, if you animal rights people, you know, want to wanna find fault with me for doing this, then, you know, you can pay for the damage to my vehicles and you can pay for the damage to my home. Uh, a cabin I built, which burned down because of mice chewing the wiring. Okay, so there it is. I like this spot because it, they like this wood pile. It provides good shelter for them. The virus is contained in the fecal matter and the urine. And so what they've discovered is a lot of people who work in building and things like that are going to be more prone to contracting it, especially if you're going to your uh, tool shed and you open it up and you scare the mice off. Because when you scare them off, they just poop and pee as they run along. And so that's a fresh amount of harmful stuff right then but again always use bleach try not to breathe it in people also in yellowstone contact contracted it because they stayed in some cabins they also warn you against sleeping on the ground where there could be possible mouse droppings and waste so again i kind of go overboard and crazy about this because it is a concern um because i can just see mice just swarming this place because of the food and the things that we brought here that, nice little goodies they can use to make nests with yeah, yeah nest material food and all of that <clears throat> um last year we found we had one in here last year we uh eradicated it egypt wasn't too happy about that it was a mom and her babies she had how many babies four or five four. yeah she had four little babies um Found another one. It, I don't know if it was a boy or a girl, but it didn't have babies with it. But so, needless to say, they are disease carriers. Plus, they will eat your food and eat your house. <laughs> they can destroy your whole home they and can, cars. Yeah, and they can destroy everything. But what's really interesting is we let the the hood of my car open because we've seen other people say, "Oh, we do that, and it keeps the rodents from getting in there." Not so much here. They're still in there. Um, so 